what's up we've got another before and after today and um this one is actually a follow-up to the uh building a website walkthrough number five so if you go back on my channel you'll see um we actually built this redesigned the site from scratch and um at that time we only really touched the home page um now we've got the site finished off and we're just about to launch it so i thought i would just run through a quick before and after here um so you can get to see how we built out the rest of the site because we actually ended up doing some really cool stuff with this one um that wasn't in the tutorial where we basically just built the home page so um this is the original site here uh, as you can see it's got kind of a more old school look to it and um, not particularly mobile friendly you can see it doesn't uh, scroll down well um, got the left side navigation here this is kind of something that people don't use as much anymore so um, anyway if you follow the tutorial we pretty much rebuilt this site from scratch using the Divi theme and we did not use any child themes on this one so we pretty much did it off the dome except for we uh, use the Divi Cloud plugin. So if I remember correctly, I think we did um, use a layout, but uh, we ended up totally customizing it way beyond what the Divi Cloud layout was. So anyway, as you can see, um, let me refresh it again. Uh, we added a preloader here because it was loading a little bit slow on my server and it was causing this um, text to load up slowly. So it kind of messed up the intro right when you load the page. So we just put the preloader on for now. We'll see how it works when it's on a uh, it's regular server and either way I think it'll be fine um, you probably remember setting all this up uh, client was happy with this everything was perfect we got the nice um, effect on the text Ken Burns effect on the photo um, see we got the nice scrolling effect on the services section nice effect there um, pretty much all the way down the page you just have some nice uh, basic zooming and fading effects just to spice it up a little bit um, now if you did watch the other tutorial you see the home page really overall is not that much different from what we came up with um, the main thing the client said I mean the, basically the only thing he wanted me to change was to remove the red overlay we had on here because it looked really blood red and um, after looking at it I totally agreed I think it was um, definitely too much red to begin with so he was right on with that so instead we just darkened it a little bit so the text pops and you get a nice contrast there uh, but overall I think it actually looks a lot better and then it's not too much red because with these also here um, that would be an awful lot so um, I like the way that came out and you can see here on mobile it sizes down really nicely um, pretty much everything is still the same on here uh, stacks nicely in one column got all the frequently asked questions pretty much everything um, so that's pretty much the homepage. This is what we already went over. And just to give you a comparison, this was the old one. Um, now, a couple big sections on this site. Uh, one of them was the services section, which on this site, this was pretty much the meat of their whole site before. So um, if you click through this menu, these are all basically um, just little sub pages with different stuff on them. Um, and what we did is we turned it into one page and um, put everything into this tabbed module. So you see you can uh, click through the tabs. We even have tabs within the tabs for like the page we just looked at, which is a super nice layout. Uh, makes it really easy for people to get everything without having to click through multiple pages. So uh, it's more mobile friendly in that respect and it just looks cool. So really happy with the way this one came out. I have to give uh, props to my man Carl who did a lot of work on this site too. He came up with the idea and I think it really came out nicely. Um, so as you can see, once it loads once, then the whole thing's loaded and you don't have to keep waiting to load each individual page. So especially on a slower server like mine, um, it is really a plus. And we've got even he um, added the slider in here just for a little extra something. Um, and then I'll also show you on mobile, this is pretty cool the way that this thing works. Um, it's pretty much a full accordion. so. You can um, open and close each of these items on mobile. All the tabs still work perfectly, and you can get all this information even on a phone. So um, I think this one came out really cool. 
uh, just again to compare that to the old one where it was just basically a series of sub pages not like the worst but I think it's way cooler the way that we set it up and um, a lot more user friendly for sure so then the other big section on here is the byproduct section uh, you may have seen this on the first one or you may not have but they basically have like kind of a catalog thing in here um, it's a little bit different than a normal catalog because if you click through to the actual pages for of the products um, it's just kind of these lists with the add to cart button so um, you know with a typical WooCommerce install you're not going to get a layout like this what we actually did is um, build a custom WooCommerce skin to um, kind of give us the same effect but put it in a more modern look and work with WooCommerce. So um, super happy with the way that came out. I'll just wait for it to load up here. Um, so you can see we've got the forms, envelope, software, buttons here. This is all in an accordion module, so it looks really nice um, compared to what we had before. So you look down to the forms, and we've got all the forms listed out here, and then you can just add to the cart by clicking this button. Um, so similar to what they had before, you'll see, but a, a little bit more visually appealing. Um, here we got the shopping cart. Let me go back here. Um, there's a couple more things to show on this. So if you notice on here, they had this uh, broken out into three different tables. And what we did is um, turn that into an accordion. So you see here, if you scroll down, um, these are accordions that can open and shut and they also work on mobile as well um, just to give it a little bit of extra visual appeal and uh, a nicer way to break those things up and you'll see we basically have kind of the same format on these other product pages so I was super happy with the way this came out um, again this is my man Carl thought up this idea so I gotta give all the credit to him because I probably wouldn't have gone this far with it but I think it's really cool the way he set it up um, yeah so that's the shopping cart section there and then the rest of the site is um, you know nothing too uh, uh, that I can think of that's really notable. Um, just kind of some extra content sections. We did redid the facts again there. Then we got your kind of basic contact page. We did come up with a nice form on that page. Um, yeah, see with a lot of different uh, inquiry boxes there. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the site overall. As you can see, we didn't use the red overlay except for just on those couple images on the front. So we used it really sparingly. Um, this one is ready to go now. Uh, we actually got this site flipped in well under two weeks. It was probably only about eight or nine days it took us to turn this whole thing around, um, get all the products entered, get that skinned, get the services page set up, everything. So uh, super happy with the turnaround on this, and we are just about ready to launch it. So again, you can see um, compared to the original, this is just an absolutely huge improvement over what he had before. So... I'm um, super happy to show this one to you, and if you did happen to watch the um, original where we first built this, now you can kind of see how um, these projects end up when they're ready to launch, because um, normally I don't add all these inner pages, and sometimes, like on this project, there's actually a lot of cool stuff in there, so you don't always get to see that. Um, but in this case, especially like the byproduct section is actually like a really um, nice feature of this site. So uh, really glad to be able to show that one off. Um, anyway, that's about it on this one. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe so you can get more before and afters because we've got tons more coming and a lot more tutorials. And um, yeah, we're just going to keep trying to put these videos out every day. So uh, thanks again and check back often.